So you don't never let you drive somewhere like this through a British stately home. Like no. we're literally driving through the gardens. So nice. This is so cool. Oh. There's so much of it as well. Like we could probably have spent hours and hours and hours going through yeah. the gardens. We just ran out of time. Yeah. She did the trolley tour. Yeah. Yeah. They're just roaming about, having fun. Why not, guys? Oh, it's like a cattle grid. Just done a cattle grid just over a cattle grid. in a Jeep Wrangler with massive tires. Although I've not seen any cattle anywhere. No. Is it all right on this track? Yeah, this is dead easy because it's slow, the road is smooth, there's no oncoming traffic. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Wow. Nice long stretch. We've arrived at the winery. It's um, very quiet because it is like mm, 6 p.m., which is perfect. It turns out they force you this way anyway, so I didn't need to put it in my sat nav because oh, everyone excellent. has to pass the winery. Oh, it's also next to the Village Hotel Inn, which is, um, is that where you one of the places you can stay if you're staying on the estate. Like this way. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, from the outside, the Village Inn doesn't look all that, but maybe uh, inside it's very nice. Yeah, so, like to the winery. It's like it's own little village, guys. So, we were just here. Yeah. You've driven us all the way. I think, actually, we might have gone that, that way. way. yeah. Round here, all the way up here. Didn't see yeah. any deer, did no, we? No, we didn't. And now we're up at Antler Hill Village. Fantastic. Well, let's go. We've got one minute to get there. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of wine for us, I think. <laughs> Although I, I can't really have much, you if sit. any, because I'm driving. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll do a lovely yeah. Diet Coke. Oh, I'm sure. Mmm. Get this one wasted. <laughs> this smells like lavender. Or oh, wow. wow. This is Instagrammable. This is so Instagrammable. Isn't it? <gasps> it's dead nice. Wow. We're excited, aren't we? I don't really feel like I'd be going through this for the wine. I can't believe this is free. I mean, I know we haven't done it yet. No, but... John, we've paid for this. Well, no, but included with the ticket price, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, included. It's basically free. Yeah. Aging wine and barrels. Okay. This is fancy. Wow. Lovely. Wine bar and restaurants, complimentary tastings this way. Yeah, just Let's go, go in. Lovely. <laughs> Let's go. It smells nice. We're in this little queue, or line as they say. We didn't get ID'd today. So depressing. <laughs> Anyway, we've just eyed up obviously all these wines and Joel had the fantastic idea. But maybe we buy a bottle of sparkling white or prosecco or champagne for tonight's live stream. Because until this point we haven't had any bougie wine, it's all been like cheap stuff. Yeah, and um, when we get through this queue, we're going to be in there doing the tasting. I think it's going to give us both an appetite, Joel. I think it will. I think we ought to. Any tater tots? <laughs> For anyone interested, any sommeliers out there, this is the tasting menu that we're going to be trying. Well, here we go. Thank you. This is so exciting. Oh, I, oh yeah, I've shown the menu, but I'm going to show it again because this is a better shot. So you've got so, white. Oh, she's got the presenter here. So looking at the menu, what do you fancy? I think I'm going to go for the sweetest white wine. Yeah. The Chenin Blanc. Okay, we get to choose five of these. I think I might have three. So, but I think, so I think we both try whatever we try. So, okay. Oh, uh, so what's the first one? First one? Yeah. Chardonnay. Yeah. Uh, um, maybe a. Oh, we, we both try? have the same. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. So we should go for this. Sweet white one? Yeah, the one at the bottom, the most sweet one. Chenin Blanc. So, okay, you're starting with the sweetest. I so, think. Uh, yeah, so how is then the, the next one? Are you going then into the reds? Um, oh, we'll start with one of the middle white wines then, perhaps. Yes, yes. so well, one moment, one moment. Have you heard what I said? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, but jumping around from the good. sweetest to the driest is not necessarily the best. No, if okay. I just don't like dry. Wine. So, yeah. That's that's fine. That's okay. fine. So if you don't like dry, why are you not maybe starting then fruity, mm. and then you are making your day way down to something more sweet? Okay. Because yeah. after something sweet, sweet, going backwards, it, no. it always will be drier. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah. start You're with right. something fruity. So if we're talking about more fruity, maybe then the Riesling would be nice. Oh, okay. sounds great. Uh, a very nice fruity setup. So here yeah. in California. Okay. okay. Sounds, sounds good. good. Because otherwise you would be very disappointed. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So nice, fruity, 
easy to pair, kind yeah. of a Riesling with fish, with white meat, mm -hmm. if you want a cheese board, a salad, okay. Asian Love food, if you like that. Mm -hmm. So a Riesling is not very complicated mm -hmm. to, to set up. So here, nice and here, pretty. It's not this sweet treat, what you no. really want. But if it's I'm starting sweet treat, sweet, then yeah, okay. it's downhill. anything else would be more dry. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're at one school. One school, yeah. cheers. Mm. So we've started one, two, three down the yeah. list. So now we just make our way Still down. Still a bit dry for me, I think. Really? Nice though, fruit, definitely fruit. Okay. I didn't realise we had to have the same ones as each other. That's fine. Yeah. I'll be led by you, darling. So I think you're you're interested in that one. So we'll obviously yeah. make sure we get it. I'm interested yeah. in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So we should definitely get the jammy one, like we said. Yeah. Well. So we'll finish on that. Finish on she, that. She, she, she's not going to let us. She, she won't. Let she won't let us, us go. For, so we could jump from there to there. We could do it to trigger her. <laughs> Trust your uh, opinion. Yeah, let's, let's see how it is. Everybody has different pal palettes. But with the Gewürztraminer, yeah. uh, also original grape out of Germany, you are coming with a lot of flavors. If you like Thai Indian food, yeah. that would be the wine. Okay. Because this single grape, single grape means you have no other grapes in yeah. this necessary. Wonderful. So your main grape is the Gewürztraminer. And the Gewürztraminer, the characteristic of this grape is flavors, mm. spices. A Roman. Please do me the favor, close the top of the glass, swirl it around, and then snap. Yeah. So it's getting more intense, and you can see the different aroma. For me, it's this walking to a spice yeah. in Marrakesh, how I call it. A lot of times. Mm. So yeah, wow. you have the fruitiness, you have a little bit of floral element, you have spices. For some people, too much. Yeah. They are stepping away. Plus, it's uh, pretty powerful. But if you're pairing it right, like Thai Indian food, if you are thinking about Thanksgiving dishes like a sweet potato casserole, pumpkin pie, if you are thinking a white pizza, if you are thinking about a salty peppery popcorn, mm. this would be something that nicely would go with the Sounds wine great. Like that. Thank you. Yeah, it's really it's sure. intense, but it's yeah a little bit different than regular grapes because really you like have it. a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. I really, I really like, like it. it. That one's a lot nicer in my opinion than the first one. Agreed. Lovely. Really like that. Isn't it good with it that we've got similar taste in mind? Imagine if one person was like super dry and the other person was sweet. Yeah. It wouldn't work. To be honest, like I think I'm such a wine newbie that sometimes I can't even tell what I'm drinking. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just like, that's nice. Yeah. I've never drunk a white wine and gone. Yes, you have. Oh, We've had like some white. horrible white. cheap wine. For fizzy, yeah. But white? Well, we had a horrible many... rosé the other day. That's yeah. Just... How many bad bottles of white have I had though? I don't know. I don't know. I know I liked that. Yeah, that. So that was Gert Wing Tramer. Tramer. Gert Tramer. She said it better than us. Expressive aromas with drawers, spice, and flute flavors. Lovely. $19 for that. One, two. So that's the, so the third one we go there, the fourth one we go there, and the fifth one we go there. Okay, we'll skip the we're rose skipping rose. the rose because it's very dry. Ooh, okay. Dry. I can't even remember what a dry rose tastes like. Like the one we had the other night. Oh, was just that really no dry? Yeah. It just burns your throat. Oh, yeah. No thanks. No thanks. So I can tell when Leah's had some wine, she starts doing the wine dance. You need to start. You've had two tastings. Two sips. <laughs> Out yeah. of uh, white grapes. Okay. So, uh, which makes it a little bit easier for you and your palates. It's a wine which you only can get for a certain amount of time. All right, we're quite a few wines down. Bear in mind, guys, they literally put like a drop in like that. Yeah. So, don't worry, we're still very much under the limit. Yeah. Oh, what does this one taste nice with? Would it be like a Thai Indian? No. no. Okay, no, not, not at all. No, because it's sweet. Something sweet. Something okay. Sweet. Maybe a blueberry pie, maybe a chocolate cake. Well, what about chocolate mousse? Um, okay. Give it a try. Your palate will tell you. Okay. Palate will tell you. And Great base like for said, a red sangria. Wow. Easy, easy. Uh, it, it, it's easy access. Guys, I, I got shut down by this smelly. Yeah. This is basically every white wine we tried thus far. That is lovely. It's really Don't nice. Really, really like it. Thank you. Tell you what. Lovely, that was fantastic. Sensational. Really enjoyed that. My palate is really enjoying it. Yeah. Great. Uh, it's a nice summer wine. Yeah. Uh, the Black Label is limited. You only yeah. can get here on the estate. Oh, 
Oh wow, yeah. limited edition. Okay. Maybe we could try that for dinner. Yeah, we'll try that for dinner. Yeah, right. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Joel, that was the funniest thing ever. We just tried to get signed up for the wine club and then I was like, oh wait, we don't live in America. And she was like, oh, you're British. And we were like, yeah. And then the she suddenly- completely changed, yeah, didn't it? She completely changed. I thought she- Like went from telling us off. <laughs> she told us off. To then like laughing with us and joking. So cute. Like, to Germany. <laughs> that was so funny. She's brilliant. Really, really great experience. Really mm. enjoyed that. There was some really great wines. It was great to just find out a little bit more about wine. Yeah. And now we're just walking around the gift shop. I think we, we both... looked for that orange muscat that she was on about. Yeah. So we could get that for the live stream. Could be fun. She said could it's delicious fun. wine. Oh, there's a tasting going Good on here. Good spicy food. <laughs> okay, so the joke. Okay, so I've got to tell you the joke about the spicy food. Every wine we were trying, literally all of them, she was like, tastes really nice with like a Thai or Indian food. So then, when the final wine came out, I said, does this taste nice with like, say, Thai or Indian food? She went, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> and like, it was such a change was of really tone. Funny. And like, she wasn't joking. She was like, no, no, it's too sweet. And like, um, it was so funny. Yeah, so that was the joke that I was trying to tell you earlier. Anyway, so we're gonna look for now a bottle for tonight. Look at this, wine-sized workouts. Stop it. What is that, 100 exercises? Just to burn, burn off a glass wine. of wine. It's a good little novelty gift. Do 140 isn't it? jumping jacks. Oh my gosh. Slow dance for 43 minutes. <laughs> You know what, guys? Just treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Count the memories, not the calories. Exactly. Wait. <laughs> yeah, God, look at the. Imagine knocking that table over. You wouldn't forgive yourself. Here we go. That's the one we're after. But it's no, got the same label. So, yeah, it's the black label limited edition. Earth, it's an orange muscat. Mus oh, found it. Thank you. They're very helpful here. So that's one we're after. What if we absolutely love it so much and then we're so annoyed we haven't got any to take it's home? Limited edition, yeah. yeah. Do you think we should just try it? Should we try it? Or should we pick up a bottle of something fizzy? What's your I could go and ask the lady if we could try a bit of that before we buy it. What do you reckon it's nice? She's probably she said it's gonna it okay. She said we'd love it. Okay, she said we'd love it. Let's just risk it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. The Biltmore. To the Biltmore. Okay guys, it seems all the reservations for all the restaurants are full. I mean, I know. Classic like, Joel and Leah. I would have told you that. You gotta book. But make a reservation. We don't do that. So Joel and Leah never make reservations. So no. we're gonna drive maybe to the River river District or whatever and oh. go to 12 Bones. 12 Bones, yes. Apparently if, it's sensational. If we don't need a reservation. But we'll just show you that we picked up some chocolates and, and some, some wine. wine. So that's really exciting. I had a fantastic yeah. afternoon. And I love the complimentary the, wine tasting, it's amazing. It was so worth it. Yeah. So of everything that they offer on the tickets, the only thing we didn't, didn't really exploit yeah. is the grounds. Yes. The 8,000 acres, yes. Sadly. I oh, know. You're filming. <laughs> 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 Oh god. Oh, what's this? Oh, do I see more? Do I see an informal eatery? Winery entrance? Yes, let's do a loop and see what else it is they have to offer here. Why are they playing that song you said? So Titanic. <laughs> you know what would have gone down really well with that wine? Cheese. Yes, a thousand times yes. Always cheese. Always. The only thing that does seem to be open for grabs is the creamery. And they did bang on about the, the flavour of the ice creams. Do you? Maybe a little snack then, because we are a bit peckish. Oh, it smells delicious in here. It smells very nice. Oh, I might be in the mood for something as well. They've got shakes, they've got ice cream sundaes, they've got churro. Ch ch I can't read. Churns, not churros, churns. So I imagine that. Oh, they've got house made cookie dough. Right, what have you got? I've got pecan. Butter pecan. pecan. Butter pecan. I said kid scoop. She started going for more. I was like, stop. Oh, massive. when you told me it's a kid scoop, I thought you were being sarcastic. But that no. actually is a kid scoop. I said, can I get a kid scoop? Wow. Wow. Do you like it? It's all right. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite thing to say now because since our um, vlog of what was it Popeyes yeah. when Leah was dipping her biscuit in the gravy and apparently I just went dip it again <laughs> and like people just love that so now I'm like try it again I bought a white chocolate and cranberry cookie which I'll eat when we get to the car I do taste that shall I? It's probably a bit dead, a bit crispy, but... Can't finish off the winery well. I've got higher hopes for the winery than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does no. look fairly gooey. No, it's all right. A bit overdone, but... Yeah, nice in a microwave, perhaps? Okay, mm. to dinner. 
to dinner. To dinner? It's a pre-dinner snack. It's a pre-dinner snack, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is dessert before dinner. It has to be done backwards. Of course. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Not bye to the subscribers, bye to the winery. What a fun, bye, fun winery. afternoon. I think this way. Yeah, Joel's now navigating us to a barbecue. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. It's um, been really fun for us. I think it's this way, sorry. Okay, guys. no worries, I will. I'll let Joel navigate. After about a five, six minute drive, we've now come to the exit. Finally, we're coming off Biltmore land. Onto peasant land. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can now do the outro, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed having wine with us as much yes. as we've enjoyed tasting. It was and lovely. Sorry yeah. we couldn't take you for dinner. I'm so sorry. We would have loved to. In another video, perhaps. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. We post videos thrice weekly. And we'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.